It's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's basically part of the manufacturing process. So we actually, ma when the phone comes off the line, we've got a vacuum chamber where the phone goes in and it basically coats the phone with this um, nano coating. Um, and it actually even goes into where the water would ingress into the phone. Uh, so electrical componentry is also covered. So what happens is I liken it to like rain eggs on your windshield. Yeah. So like when you put rain eggs on the windshield, it beads up. Same thing with the phone. So this makes the phone water repellent. It can't dunk it, but it actually will stand withstand IPX2, which is about seven millimeters of rainfall per minute over ten minutes. Wow. So it actually will, you know, it'll uh, it, it, it improves a lot of the returns we get for water damage. Okay. And so you know if you if you're gonna spill a glass of water on it, or if you're gonna walk in the rain, it'll, it'll withstand that. That's awesome. Normal phones won't. And the uh, uh, steel core. Yeah. So, so this is the idea of like, actually, instead of having, because you know, oftentimes uh, I've taken apart a lot of your phones. You'll have an outer frame mm -hmm. with the materials inside. This is more like an outer slate with everything mounted to it. It's a it's a chassis. Okay. Um, it's 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 a. Uh, it's stainless steel. It, it uh, basically adds rigidity to the phone, but it also is a framework for a lot of componentry that okay. goes on it. And as, as you saw, they actually had an image up yeah, on the presentation, image. which you know that was actually that phone was in my office, and so we actually took it apart. We had to they kind of shine, put a you know focus on the the chassis itself. But yeah, so it's a it's a key part of the overall construction. Yeah, yeah. thanks for that. That's great. That's great. And the Kevlar. Uh, uh, more than just uh, hype, this is to yeah, really add stru um, structural so rigidity. I, I mean, it looks great. I mean, yeah. it provides a juxtaposition where you've got the nice soft fiber and then the metallic feel, but it's actually um, yeah. ounce for ounce, five times stronger than steel. It's, it's DuPont and Kevlar. Um, we've actually created a weave so the material is actually woven um, and uh, basically laminated to the phone. It's. Um, it's thinner than any other material we could have put on the phone. Okay. So, you know, yeah. to kind of um, be overall, you know, try to minimize the thickness of the phone overall. It's also um, very rigid, very high tensile strength. Right. Um, so it's it's actually purposeful as well in terms of lightweight and durability. And the uh, curved glass uh, that's tapering. Uh, so that there's, there's, it has a very sort of unique design where it's you know kind of tapers down at the edges. If you look at the glass from the edge, um, you'll see kind of a chamfer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that chamfer is just sort of a kind of complementing the the idea of the device. Okay. Um, 